Hey guys, Adam from Equipped to Endure. This little mesh bag, I've got the Power Pot. Now I've heard about this before. I'll go ahead and uh, I had it kind of disheveled because I left some wires in here that I had to get earlier. So what does this consist of? Well, we have this one bowl, which also doubles as a lid. Oh, you can just see that I had that outside. I was actually using this, got it all nasty. It also doubles as a lid, which is pretty cool. So nice off the bat. And then we have the Power Pot itself. As water heats, as cold water heats in this, it actually makes an electrical current. So you can plug this in and let me pull this guy out. And this is the wires that it comes with. So you got a uh, universal adapter that has a mini, a micro, and I think this is the, the lightning. I can't remember, it's the thunder or lightning. It's the old iPhone one. And then you have this that you know, plugs in here. Don't worry, you can only get it in the right way and then we'll have a, a gauge right here. We took this out for a test, how well we can boil water with the fire ant, which we did, we were very successful. But also I wanted to see how much current that we can make. Now one thing about this, this is pretty large. So this is a five watt portable generator, cooking pot. Uh, retails for 149, so 150 bucks, which is pretty pricey. You know, that's, that's a, a pricier item. You can get power from any heat source. You don't necessarily even need a flame. How it's, like I said before, how it's creating electricity is the, uh, the heating of the cold water, somehow thermodynamics, I don't know. It's gonna create electricity. There's no magical elves in here as our, our friend Jim Noka would say that makes electricity. Uh, carry less, you know, that's one of the features they say because I mean, this thing isn't terribly heavy. There's no real perceivable weight difference, you know, out the bat than something like my my zebra pot, which I love, and actually is a little bit bigger than my zebra pot, so you can always stuff extra materials in here. That's one thing about a, a cooking pot or something like that. It's also a great just kit container. A very tough and rugged design. I have a, this one has actually already been used, as you guys can say, before I got it. And a friend of mine took it. He was uh, out there testing it, being pretty rough with it, and no issues whatsoever in regards to its functionality. Uh, charge, about 10 minutes of this charging will, will uh, charge your phone for about 60 minutes worth of talk time. So you're always gonna have a ability to make power out in the field. And it's a lot easier to use like some of those other generators that I've seen that produce electricity from heat, like the bio stove. I just didn't like the fact that I had to sit there and babysit it. And this, I just put my water in there, charge my phone, boil the water when I'm done, pour this out, pour some more water, heat some more water up. You can just keep on doing that forever. And it's a lot easier because you still have your larger fire. You don't have to worry about that little fire uh, in the, something like the bio stove. So I prefer something like this. It's a uh, hardened anodized aluminum, five volt, one amp, flame resistant charging cable. And this is the aluminum plate on the bottom here, the thermoelectric module. And we do have some uh, flame resistant silicone handles, which I was kind of worried about because I did have some flames licking these guys. Uh, but uh, you know what, they're okay. I mean, they're a little sooty, as you guys can see. They're not pretty and green anymore, um, but, you know, that happens. That's one thing that you did have to, that's one thing I did have to watch out for is which way the wind was blowing to make sure these handles were on the opposite side facing towards the wind. That was one issue. Now, they do have some other upgrades. Like I said before, they have this three-in-one kit, and they also have a battery pack that you could actually use just to charge the battery pack and then you can charge your device on the go. So you don't have to have your, your device plugged into that. It's pretty cool. So as you can see, one other drawback is it does leave a little bit of a mess. You do have these mesh bags that help protect some of your gear inside your bag so this can get all sooty. But as you can see, in my hand, it's going to happen. Again, I don't think you're going to have any problems taking this and just, you know, washing this off in the sink to get all that nasty stuff off. But all in all, it was a pretty cool item. Let's go to check out the test, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, what we have here is uh, our power pot. Cool thing about this, it has a metal piece down here that uh, at change of the temperature of the water inside from cold to hot, it actually is going to create an electric, electrical charge. So this come with this uh, little sack right here with some USBs. So it has your standard micro and mini USB and your old iPhone. I got a new iPhone, so I got to bring my own cord with this. That's not a huge deal. We came prepared. Throw it back in here. And we're going to throw our cold water in here. That's one important thing about it. You have to have cold water. And once the cold water is hot, it's no longer charging. 
keep our uh, ember lit. Make it fire. Should be stuff in the from the port. All right, so we got that on there. We're gonna plug our little jack in here. Put that guy on top. So we have two for the price of one, guys. Right. Grab my old cell phone. We're looking at about 73% right now. Let's throw it in here. Also let us know when we're starting to charge. Ah, charging already. Throw this lid back on here so we have a, a boil a little faster. All right, fellas. So, so you guys can see. The compact design, we really have no problem getting some pretty decent sized wood here. And if we're going to start the timer here to see how long it takes to boil. But this thing uh, shoots out some flames like nobody's business. Really happy with the stove. It's getting there, as you guys can see. It's only been on there for probably two and a half minutes. And now we're at three. So this is definitely charging. So yeah, we're at a raging boil right now. And it took about four minutes. Not bad. Roughly a quart of water. Again, not bad. And that charged our battery uh, 3% at that time. Very cool. We'll get back to the tabletop to finish this guy, but pretty cool it's about the size of my uh, zebra pot which I'm really fond of and the fact that it's multi-purpose but still has those qualities and in fact I do like this extra bowl that it comes with as well that's a little bonus so we'll check that out here in a second all right guys so that's uh, pretty much it so the one question you do have to ask yourself is about the price point 150 bucks is gonna be pretty expensive I don't know if it's something that's in your uh, your budget for an item such as this is it worth wild? Well, nowadays everybody's going out in the field carrying all these electronic devices, uh, cameras and, and whatnot, stuff like that, your cell phones which have awesome cameras and video, GPS type items on it. So having electricity on the field, you know, for whatever reason, it's kind of almost a necessity. So it is pretty cool. The Amazon price is still about 149, so that seems to be what the price is everywhere. It's not, it's an investment, I'll have to say. And if you're, if you're gonna be using it frequently, I definitely can get your money out of it pretty fast. I mean, if you look at some of these rechargeable batteries, they're pretty inexpensive, but you know, once you're out and they're used up, they're done. I carry a battery pack around for my phones all the time. And I have some other, the stuff like the, the Sherpa uh, charger that I have and some of the solar panel stuff is pretty neat as well. But it has a bulk to it and you can only use that for one thing. This is always gonna be your pot. So you can always boil water in this and always use this, which is kind of a mandatory item to take out in the field. So there's that for the, the plus side. The other thing too is like, I like the fact of all the volume in it. You are able to boil a good amount of water in one sitting to really get that charge out of it. I would say, uh, and also the packability to be able to put this whole thing in your pack. And uh, I mean, that's, that's a, a lot of space, fellas, to put stuff in there. The design's pretty good. I know a lot of people got on Kickstarter with these guys and were able to uh, 
really get a good deal. I think the original Kickstarter for this was 99 bucks. And those guys did really well in regards to that. So the people who got that for Kickstarter did pretty awesome. So I do like it. I know their humanitarian type things they're using for this is pretty cool as well. So, you know, all in all, nice item, kind of pricey. You have to kind of justify the price to yourself. If it's something that you're gonna use, I can see that it's definitely, I might pick up one of these. I, I don't know yet. Um, I'm gonna play around with this one a little bit more before I give it back to my buddy. And, uh, you know, but one of these might be in the future. It's one of those things where if uh, somebody got me one for a gift, I would be pretty excited about it. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know if I want to go out right now and rush to buy it uh, if I perceive the need for all the other equipment that I have. But it is nice and it does work. And I'm a sucker for, for pots and everything. I know if, if uh, Robert Oliver saw this, even though he hates electronics, he'd probably like it a lot too because he's, he's a sucker for cookware for the field as well. All right, guys, well, check out the PowerPot at thepowerpot.com. Uh, this is the PowerPot V or the PowerPot 5, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if there's Roman numerals or just letter. Uh, nice little item. Again, retails for about $149. All right, guys, Adam from Equipped to Door. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equippedtodoor.com. You guys take care. Be safe out there. And remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks.